Hey everybody, it's Dizzy. I'm sorry about my lighting, it's raining outside, so I'm doing the best I can. But it is June, and I'm gonna talk to you about kind of some products that I really enjoyed during the month of May. So this is kind of my May product roundup. I've got some skincare, some hair stuff, and some makeup stuff. So I'm going to start with the skin. And the first thing that I've been really enjoying is my Absolute Makeup Cleansing Towelettes in um, the Cucumber Extract one. And these are amazing. The cloth is actually really soft and doesn't irritate my dry skin. It smells very, it has vitamin E in it. It has, has a very soft cucumber scent, but it goes away very easily. And I just really liked it. I get it at Marshalls and they're like $4.99 at Marshalls and they're, they, they're usually $8. But I don't know where you get them, but I found them at Marshalls, Burlington, Ross, places like that. Okay, so the next thing is my Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Clay Mask. It's the chocolate and strawberry one. It says it moisturizes and tones, and I believe this is very, very, very true. Um, it smells like brownie batter with a little tiny bit of strawberry, and it looks like brownie batter. Like, I'll show you guys what color it is. So when you put it out, it looks like... I don't even know. It's like a light brown. It almost matches my skin tone, which is kind of funny. So I could use it as like deep cleansing mask slash too dark foundation. Let me wipe this off my hand. But I think it looks very hydrating and nice. It smells so good. Literally brownie batter. So I think it's really nice. I don't feel like it's doing a lot like ripping out like impurities from my pores or anything. But my skin is so dry I can't really use anything that does that anyway. So it's been great for me. I'd say if you're dry to combination this is probably a good product. And then last skincare thing is my Nourish Organic Deeply Nourishing Coconut and Argon Body Lotion. I get this online from Nourish Organic because I use a couple of their other products as well, so it's just easy for me to throw it in. It smells amazing and it leaves my skin very, very, very soft, it leaves my hands really nice. And I have crafter's hands, I knit, I sew, I do a lot of things with my hands. So it really does have hydration that stays for me. Now for hair stuff, I want to say I have fallen back in love with special effects hair dye. Um, I used it a couple times this month, most notably to get this purple. And this purple is actually a combination of a few colors. So it is deep purple from special effects. That's where you see the kind of darker purple tones. And that has been diluted 30% with white conditioner. That's how intense this stuff is. If you put deep purple on just by itself, your hair will be black indoors and then look purple outside, but it's very dark. But I also use, that was all over like the root part of my hair. And then parts of it are pimp and purple diluted. Um, which is a more like pink based purple, which you see the parts that are kind of fading pink are pimp and purple. And that was also diluted like 50%. And then um, last but certainly not least, at the beginning of the month, if you guys remember last month I had pink hair and it was done with virgin rose, which is this beautiful cool toned pink that has a little bit of a purple undertone to it. And it mixes very nicely with these colors as well because I've had my hair sort of all three of these at once and it was awesome. But I have washed my hair now eight times, twice with like that Fancy Lights kind of silver shampoo. Um, and as you can see, parts of it do kind of fade out to pink and parts of it stay kind of lavender, but it has an amazing staying power. If you use those darker colors diluted, they will not rub off on your pillow or on your clothes or anything. If you use them straight, they will bleed all over everything and they'll rub off on everything. So it's just a word of caution. And then um, since I had to bleach my hair to get it purple, what I've been loving is the Oisy Moist, Moist, let's try again. Aussie Moist Conditioner. It's great stuff. It has kind of a funky smell, like it smells a little, coconutty I guess but it's really nice and it's done a really good job of just rehydrating my hair um, and then I have been letting my hair dry and be curly this is my natural 
wave you're seeing it's finally long enough uh, to do it again because when I cut it in the really short pixie it doesn't wave up as easy but I have been using a little bit of just plain jojoba oil so I use a cocktail basically I get out the shower I put a little bit of um, a leave-in conditioner and then I've been using the Tresemme Make Waves. This is really nice stuff. And it's the High Def Waves and Curls Shaping Gel Cream. I just use like the tiniest little tiny, tiny, tiny amount of that. Get that in my hair and scrunch it and then either let it air dry or um, diffuse it. And then I just take the smallest amount of jojoba oil and just scrunch that into my ends. And it seals in moisture and it just kind of protects the hair and it gives it a little bit of shine. So that is all my hair stuff. So makeup stuff. I've got two foundations I've been really liking. The first is a BB cream. This is the Rimmel 9-in-1 BB cream. I'm using this as my foundation today all by itself. No powder, no anything over it. and I love it. Um, I'm mostly dry skin with a little bit of combo right through, through the nose and right around the chin. And this has been fantastic. It lasts all day. And I am in the color light and it's a pretty good match. And then I've also been trying out CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous in color 825 with this, which is buff beige, which is a very good match for me. And I really like this. It's not super glowy. It's nice on my skin. My skin is like dry to combo, like I said, and I feel like it doesn't break down during the course of the day. It stays in place for me without a primer, and it's been a pretty nice foundation. My only bummer on that is that it does not have SPF, but I have been wearing it over this, which is Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen, and it has SPF 30. This is tinted, and it's the light shade. And I got this in a Petty Vower box, so it is cruelty free. And it even says on the back, it's got the bunny, that it's cruelty free. This stuff is just awesome. I have loved it. It goes on really nicely. I feel like my makeup goes on after it beautifully. It makes a nice primer. I've worn it by itself, and it just has enough of a tint to even out your skin tone. It's the bomb, y'all. Okay. Two liquid eyeliners, which is kind of a weird thing for me, but I do have two liquid eyeliners to show. The first is the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Hemingway, which is this really pretty kind of yellow brown. I showed it in a haul. It's like a golden brown. I'm using that as my liner today. I love it. It's not as thin and perfect and precise a tip as the tattoo liner. But it is a pen style, it is very nice, and it comes in about 400 million colors. And uh, some of those looked really intriguing, I want to try some of the green ones. Um, and then, and it also, I mean look, it's just like the tattoo lighter, once it sets, it does not come off until you take it off with makeup remover, and then it comes off very easily with makeup remover. And then the other one I've got is a super cheap one, and it's the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen, and it's in there black. And that's got a longer point than the Kat Von D one. And that's that. And it's just a very nice black liner. It's very easy to work with. It's very inexpensive. It's kind of like a, like a calligraphy pen kind of tip. And I don't know, I like it. I've been kind of doing the winged liner thing again lately um, with liquid liner, which has been a while. And look, I mean, there's them side by side. I'm rubbing on these like crazy and look nothing's happening so they are good stuff i tried two mascaras this month i'm not in love with them but they're not bad one is the essence lash princess which has a super cute and then kind of a weird brush can you see the weird brush there we go it's not a bad mascara it gives me a lot of volume um it calls the brush the innovative cobra brush okay cool um cobra it's gonna get you i'm an idiot anyway the point is it does kind of give you like a lot of lift in the middle and then it's got the narrower bristles on the side so it's a nice mascara i'm not like crazy about it but it doesn't flake and it's, it's pretty nice and then i tried the wet and wild max volume plus mascara and that one has this like brush that gets thin in the inner corner and thicker on the outside and it is nice for getting the little tiny lashes on the inner corner but it's like a little spiky and kind of stabs me in the eye so it's not bad I don't love either one of those 
Um, what I do love is my e.l.f. Lengthening and Defining Mascara, which is the only one I can put on my bottom lashes. And this is this brush. And it's itty bitty tiny! But it does a really nice job on my bottom lashes. So. And if you use a volumizing mascara like these, like a little clumpy, you can use this to kind of stretch it out and fan things again. That is my cat. He's fine. He's just got... He wants to go somewhere I won't let him go, so. Um, this is my Urban Decay Primer Potion, the anti-aging one. I've been using it every day. It's the stuff. Um, I've been using this little trio. Like, I use this today on my eyes for eyeshadow. It's the NYX Love and Rio Barefoot in the Sand. It's so effortless to wear this. So it comes with this, like, kind of vanilla color that's a little sheer. They're all a little sheer, but I kind of like that. This center color that's like a taupe with gray and like a little bit of sparkle. It's like warm taupe, little sparkle. And then finally the last color, which is like a soft kind of warm gray. But that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I've been wearing a lot and it's just so stinking easy to throw it on and go and um, so yeah, and I even like doing that and then doing like a pop of crazy color for a liner or something. It looks very nice. Um, okay, so then I've got a blush pick. This is the NYX Powder Blush in Pinched. This is all I have on my cheeks today. It's got a little bit of a radiance to it. I love this color. There's the color. There's a swatchy. There's a concentrated swatch and then blendy blendy. So yeah, it's just beautiful. I really, really, really like this color. And I love that it's got a little bit of a gold reflect and it's kind of coral. It's just good. And then on my lips today, just really quick, I have been wearing um, a OCC lip tar during this video and it's a color I've been reaching for a lot more lately. And it is one I've had for a while, but it's the color Annika which is, if you have interlace, it's the more peachy, yellowy, like, orangey version of interlace. It's very much peach, so that's that color. And I've got that all over, and I've been kind of obsessed with it because I feel like it has almost like a 60s lipstick kind of look, so that's been fun. So that's why I've been wearing that. And then over it today, for just a little shine, I've got my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, which is still the only butter gloss I own, but I do really dig it and look it's more pink so together they kind of give you this like well this color this like pink peach uber natural kind of thing which I have been really into right now lately my lipstick has either been like major statement lipstick or this so that's what's going on with me so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what some of your favorite things were for the month of May or anything you're looking forward to trying in June. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.